Hey guys, this is Megan. Today we'll be using the color tops and the colored tones. I will be using GR2 and GR3 for the leaves today. GR2 is going to be my base and I'm going to use it with GR3 for about somewhere about five five seconds and then I will fuse again the colorless top for another five seconds to create the to create the gradation that I have achieved here. I accidentally used my bullet nib to begin with and switched to my brush nib here. Which I ended up having to switch out my nib after a little bit in this film. I following the curve of the leaf like I did, it allowed me to get a leaf that looked like it was curving outward so that the shading was more accurate. Here I am going to show you the flower petals. I used PK2 as my base and PK3 as my top fusion. I then fused on top of that my colorless blender again and each time I fused, I fused for 5 seconds for the larger areas. I also made it so that I did the flowers in sections so I wasn't having to color the whole flower, which allowed for a more flawless look. I again followed the curve of the flower petals, and as I got darker through my gradation, I pulled that into the flute of the flower to make the shading under the flower seem more realistic. Again, I just broke it into sections, and these smaller sections I fused for shorter periods of time. That one I fused for about 5 seconds for each the color and the colorless tone. Here we go back to the green after the new nib has been placed in. Again, I fused for about 5 seconds for each color to allow for this color gradation. So it was again the GR2 for as the base, then the GR3 for 5 seconds, then the colorless blender, colorless top for again another 5 seconds. The smaller leaf I did for about 2 seconds on each color because it didn't need the, quite the length of the larger leaves. I again fused with the GR2 and GR3 here. I, however, did not use the colorless for this area because it was a darker area, so I was able to shade it without needing the colorless solution on top for these stems. Just jumping back and forth over the areas that don't need colored green. Just make sure when you go over them, you go over them evenly, so back and forth, back and forth, without skipping too much of your area that needs colored. Back to the flowers. I did these small unopened flowers, and here I used my bullet nib to get a more detailed look, and I fused for only a couple seconds here, about a snap-on, snap-off for each PK3 and the colorless top onto the PK2. Again, using the longer fuse times to create the look that I wanted to achieve, and again, following the curve of the flower. Shorter seconds here. Here I fused for maybe a second for each one again. And all it really needs is just a 7 second fuse for each color to achieve it in the smaller areas, more like a, more like a 5 second fuse. When you want the areas to be lighter in color, just fuse it longer with the colorless solution. 
because we saw so much of the underneath of this flower, I decided to make it lighter on the feet. Again, breaking it into sections will help you to create the look that you want. Thank you for watching!